Hey, what's up everybody? Uh, just got home from work, had my horror pack uh, Blu-rays waiting for me. Um, usually we would have had them in by now, but because of the hurricane, it took longer to come in. So um, sometimes I recently started doing the clues, but uh, I just got home from work, crazy day. I don't feel like doing the clues. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and pull them out and see what we got. First one is a dark song, which this has been in my uh, digital library. I haven't watched it yet, um, but now I have an excuse. I got to watch it. It says, Two Broken Souls, An Unholy Alliance. Grieving Sof Sophia despairs over the tragic loss of her murdered son. Desperate to somehow make contact with the boy she lost, Sophia believes her prayers are answered when she crosses paths with a reclusive Joseph, an expert in the occult. Joseph reluctantly agrees to aid Sophia through a series of dark and forbidden rituals in order to bring her child back to the world of the living. And we all know that never leads to anything good. Uh, pushed to their physical and psychological breaking point, Sophia and Joseph make a, distur a disturbing descent into the most depraved corners of black magic. The debut feature from Rising Horror... Atur Liam Gavin, uh, if I'm saying that right, a dark song sustains an air of quiet, creeping dread, tensely building towards a confrontation with evils unknown to our earthly bounds. And it does have some bonus features on there, interviews with the director, the director of photography, and actors. And on the back it says, the list gives it four stars, outstanding, screen invasion, a hybrid between... Okay, I'm going to butcher some names again. Uh, uh, Steven Soderbergh and James Wan, an utterly unique film uh, stated by Slash Film. So that's it. The Dark Song is the first one. And it's a Blu-ray DVD combo pack. Next one. Uh, it's a horror pack exclude. Oh, wait. Um, oh no, it's the sign, uh, Bye Bye Man, unrated. And I'm not sure who it's signed by. Uh, if it's director or... I'm trying to look at the names on the back here, see who it is. I don't know if that's supposed to be like Juan or John or K. It looks like a K. Well, I'm not going to take up too much time. Luckily, I don't have the Bye Bye Man yet. That's one. It was okay, but I there were other movies that I wanted to add to my collection before that, so I'm glad. Uh, Horror Pack, thank you. So, there we go. And there's the back. And if Horror Pack does see it, you know, I guess I'll pull uh, Jen over at the Horror Horror. There we go. <laughs> I'm just messing with you, Jenna, if you're watching this. Uh, I know how you get uh, your photos up there almost every month. All right. Uh, this one is the Horror Pack exclusive. Uh, Against the Night. Oh, I didn't read the Bye Bye Man. I'll go ahead and read it. I'm sure most of us know about this one, but... A terrifying Boogeyman for a New Generation. Uh, from the producer of Oculus and The Strangers comes the Bye Bye Man. When three college friends stumble upon the horrific origins of the Bye Bye Man, they discover that there is only one way to avoid the curse. Don't think it, don't say it. But once the Bye Bye Man gets inside your head, he takes control, making you see and do the most unspeakable acts committed by man. Is there a way to survive his possession? Uh, starring Douglas Smith, uh, Ouija, and Carrie Ann Moss, The Matrix, See the chilling thriller that critics are calling a paranormal thrill ride uh, that will echo in your nightmares. Bye-bye, man. So one that I don't have and signed. And this one is the Horror Pack exclusive, number 27. And I've heard of this. I forget what it's about, though. Against the Night. It says, they're not alone. Against the Night is an atmosphere horror tale that is set in modern, or I'm sorry, it's set in motion by Hank, um, a guerrilla filmmaker who is relentless in his drive to capture 
visceral footage. Late one night, he pursues a group of friends to, or he persuades a group of friends to sneak into an abandoned prison to document any paranormal activity. Okay, I, I think I heard, I remember hearing that now. Um, paranormal activities um, that their night vision cameras can detect. Once inside, a series of inexplicable events begins and the friends find themselves locked in the prison, separated from each other and pursued by someone who knows the layout far better than they do. Is it one of their own who is hunting them down one by one or have they inadvertently awoken some ancient evil that has long been confined within the prison's massive walls? So another one I haven't seen yet. So far, so good. Three out of four. This is a good month. Last one. Ooh, feels like there's a slip cover. And what is it? What is it? What is it? That's the back. Uh, oh, the Invisible Man. And it's got a slip cover. And it's the original with Claude Rains. Limited edition glow in the dark art. All right. Those uh, Universal Monster ones. That's awesome. And I actually don't have any of these on Blu ray either. This is a really good month. Uh, it's got bonus features on there. Now you see him, the Invisible Man revealed, um, production photographs, feature commentary by the historian Rudy Belmer, 100 years of universal, unforgettable characters, trailer gall gallery, uh, digitally restored in high definition. Uh, the signature adaptation of H.G. Wells' The Invisible Man stars Claude Rains as a mysterious scientist who discovers a serum that makes him invisible. Covered by bandages and dark glasses, the scientist arrives in a small English village and attempts to hide his amazing discovery. He soon realizes, however, that the same drug which renders him invisible is slowly driving him insane and capable of committing unspeakable acts of terror. Directed by James Whale, the horror classic features... Groundbreaking special effects by John P. Fulton that inspired many of the techniques that are still used today. So, yeah, that's a really good one to have there. So, there we go. The Invisible Man, front, back. Got that slipcover. Let's see if uh, it's the same. Oh, and it's a different cover there. So, that's cool. All right, this month, a really good pack. So, just a quick recap. Invisible Man against the night signed edition of the bye bye man by i'll try to figure that out later or if you know in the comments who signed that let me know and a dark song so four new ones to add to my collection this real been a really good month all right well thanks for watching and i'll see you in the, the next i'm so glad i'm off from work get to relax this uh next video like share subscribe and thanks for watching bye